Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take another look at this relativistic triangle. It does tell us one other thing. The shape of the triangle does tell us how fast the object is moving that we're interested in. For example, if I have a triangle like this with a very small angle, the object is not moving very fast because if you relate the momentum times the speed of light, which is a small quantity relative to the rest mass energy, and then if you draw an arc from this point with equal distance from this from the corner here of this triangle right there, you can see that this distance right here, which then represents the kinetic energy, and I just erased it, uh, there we go, it's a very small amount relative to the rest mass energy, which would indicate that the object relative to the speed of light is not going very fast. Although, if you have this much kinetic energy relative to the rest mass energy, you're still moving really fast relative, relative to normal velocities that we're used to in everyday life. But in relativistic terms, this is a very small kinetic energy, and that shows on the angle. Notice that the cosine of the angle is equal to 1 over gamma, or gamma is equal to 1 over the cosine of the angle. If the angle is near 0 degrees, then 1 divided by 1, of course, makes gamma 1. And for a gamma that's equal to 1, there's no relativistic effects at all. Of course, if the angle is measurable, let's say the angle of 2 or 3 or 4 degrees, it does give us a gamma which is slightly bigger than 1, which does give us some relativistic effects right there. Now, if the angle is really big, like it is over here, notice that gamma is 1 over the cosine of the angle theta. As theta nears 90 degrees, of course, the cosine of 90 becomes 0. 1 divided by 0 is infinite, and you can see that gamma becomes a very large number. And that is evident by knowing how the momentum times the speed of light is a much greater quantity than the rest mass energy, and therefore you can see that the portion making up the total energy is mostly kinetic energy and not as much rest mass energy. So that's an indication of a very high velocity. And again, we can see that by gamma being a very large quantity. Of course, this is the Lorentz factor, which gives you indirectly an idea of how fast things are moving. So that triangle is very ingenious, has some really nice ways of representing different quantities as far as rest mass energy, kinetic energy, momentum, and so forth of a particle all related to each other in a simple triangle like that. And that's how it's done.